Hi everyone, welcome to the uh, another uh, installment of the progress report for Martian Worlds. Just want to show off, I have two suns now set up. Um, I have uh, refined the atmospheric scattering. Uh, we still have our singularity. I'm not sure, I think I showed it in the last video, I can't remember now. Um, yeah, nice animating, nice animating singularity. Uh, black hole, there's actually a lensing effect that occurs if you get close to the center. This thing is is quite a distance away. I mean, it's not right next to this planet. It's like, uh, in fact, if, if I, I guess, yeah, I can't show it to you yet, but uh, where it actually is in relation, but um, it's something like, uh, I guess, like 50,000 units away. Um, units are arbitrary because I've decided, you know, what to scale things as. I think right now, typically you have um, meters, so things are scaled as meters, but, um, you know, within the system. But um, so one unit is one meter, but then again, that would make that you know have to be <laughs> a pretty pretty large number away. So I may have to scale it such that uh, instead of one equal one meter, one equals a kilometer type of thing. So I have to get a scaling uh, set up at some point. But right now it's like what fifty thousand units. This Earth is six hundred units in in uh, radius. So this this Earth in its size is basically six hundred, and that's fifty thousand. So that's quite far, <laughs> and it's really big. Um, it's many, many, many times bigger than the suns, which are much closer. These suns are, I think, ten thousand units. Ten thousand? Yeah, ten thousand. Yeah. And uh, I think it's maybe a hundred thousand actually, fifty or hundred thousand away. So, anyways, um, enough of that. Let's keep walking around here. So uh, let me show you the atmospheric scattering. Oh, this not nice. There's a huge part of this planet. That's just water, and a huge part that's just ground. Like, this is just all ground. But then, oh, I think, uh, let me get to it, you'll see. But this is just all fields and dunes and etc, etc. But there's a part of this planet that's actually kind of cool. And this planet's actually moving, by the way. Um, if I stand still, you just stand still. See, it's moving. I'm just kind of moonwalking on it. <laughs> so it is rotating, but I haven't stuck the player to the ground yet so I mean that's pretty trivial I don't really I don't just never got around to it but whatever <laughs> um, but in any case you can see isn't that cool very realistic lake looking lakes kind of quite happy how the lakes kind of turn out see look at that I mean doesn't that look kind of natural I mean I think it does a little organic kind of look to it yeah this is a few few passes of uh, small bumps, slightly larger, larger bumps to the terrain, and then adding uh, large uh, open areas that snake around um, when creating uh, uh, hills and valleys in a in an organic fashion. And then and mountains are then added after, kind of like in a, in a layering effect. Believe it or not, this whole thing is terraformed by two functions. One's called a, a bump, uh, a geosphere class that I have set up there's a function for bumping and a function for tree bumping so I can have a regular bump and then I can have a, a kind of an organic looking tree kind of bump and then I just you know use uh, two styles of uh, two layers of bumps and two layers of tr uh, tree bumping and the bumps go up, up up or down from the ground level randomly so and it just worked actually quite nicely I said well, look at that see Isn't that cool now here's the scattering effect I was trying to tell you about See how the suns are now in the distance, right? Through the uh, a lot more of the atmosphere, they're not just straight up; they're like moving it right at the atmosphere level. So that's you can see my shadow there. Yeah. Um, like again, the shadows are real time; everything's real time. There's the atmosphere scattering, and I actually am casting rays to that sun. So once the rays, you can actually see it dim slightly. If I can go behind this mountain, let's see. There we go. You can see it dim, and it dims, and it dims, and then it's gone. So I'm actually casting rays out from myself to the diameter of the sun. There's just four of them, so the resolution is, is I guess, not the best. But I'm casting uh, up, down, left, and right areas of, of the sun based on my orientation. So based on where the player is from the center of the Earth up to me, determines the up vector, and then I determine the left, right, up, and down parts of the sun, and then determine... How to fade the sun based on where it is located so it's kind of cool actually quite it's nice because if you jump you come to the sun and you see it and then as you go down you're back in the dark side 
and it's still dark. But it makes sense because, I mean, it's dark as long as you're on the ground, right? That's the way it's supposed to be. If you go up higher, then it gets light again. I mean, it's the same way on Earth. If you go to a tall building, you'll see that. You can see the sun again. And isn't that cool? Singularity? I like that. Oh, there we go. Even the atmosphere. <laughs> okay, just trying to get some height going on here. Yeah, let's go on here. Let's get some more height. There we go. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that scattering. Isn't that beautiful? I like that. that. See, there's two suns going through that. That's why it's so bright. Remember, I have two suns. Yeah, so we go. I think there's a nice big water area. I don't think I've been to this. I keep finding places I haven't been to before, actually. Here's another nice spot here. Nice body of water. This is like a huge ocean. This whole, this is a section that I think of the planet that has a large body of water. Actually goes down pretty deep, I think. Really deep. I think it goes really deep. Yeah, it's, it's quite deep. There's some places I think that are really deep. Um, I don't think I've found them all, actually. I've been around this planet over the last few hours and keep finding new places. This is why I don't think it's really a good idea to have huge planets. Like, what's the point? Like, this planet's only 600 units radius. It's a small planet, and I still haven't really checked it all yet, right? Am I going to spend hours on one planet when i got like a thousand other planets I want to visit? Would I want to just kind of get it over with and then fly off and then have the fun of seeing what other kind of planets I can find? <laughs> I mean, you know, if I've got thousands of planets, I don't want to spend forever on one. So I think the size is actually not terrible. And plus, I can probably better simulate it that way. Um, if the planets are not so huge, then... Um, oh, speaking of, I, I played Spore uh, before... Um, um, it's actually quite a fun game where you can pick up creatures from one planet and go to another planet, drop them there, pick up more creatures from another planet, drop them there, and you know, you, as you add creatures to the planet, you kind of um, change how the dynamics work, I guess, within the ecosystem. So, oh, you see how that blue actually shines through there a little? See that? Yeah, it's because of the, the um, high enough and the sun is starting to fade in, but it goes straight through the mountain. Um, I'm not certain how to fix that, but it's just, yeah, the way it is. <laughs> but we'll have to see if we can do something about that. But anyways, um, so yeah, speaking of Spore, sorry, always going off from rabbit trails, stay focused. Um, so Spore is a game where you can, uh, again, explore space, and, and you can do a lot of cool things with it. And that was pretty much one of the first games uh, that I really had fun with uh, in, in regards to space exploration and I thought it would be kind of cool to have different creatures around that you could pull in from other planets and then just pop down a creature here and, and then come back you know and then I'll have a, a thread running in the background that is slowly s still simulating these planets and kind of go with that right so that's why I don't want to I want to have fully um, uh, I want planets that are fully um, set up um, tech, uh, I guess uh, terraformed and ready to go and I want to kind of be able to simulate um, certain things. Will be turned off, of course, but uh, but I want to be able to simulate the, the wildlife with the in real time, with with all the way the Earth currently is, with all its features and its uh, mountains and its waters. You know, if a creature you know accidentally drowns or gets eaten by another creature or gets stuck, a, can't go up a mountain there does go up a mountain or whatever case might be you know I want that to still be the case when the player returns and then they can see you know everything works according to you know I don't want to just simulate it in a virtual environment where there's nothing and then come back and it's not unrealistic I want to actually have them simulate a, a, against the terrain itself so it's as realistic as possible and it probably means that it'll be updated by a slower step so when you fly away from the planet it'll be uploaded in a separate thread and like it's slower steps so it's like time slows down when you're away but at least it's still going right so that's the main thing so yeah oh yeah oh wow it's a really tall mountain you can really feel the gravity um again the gravity is set up realistic according to um uh, real gravity calculations so i use the actual gravity uh formula and uh I guess the force between mass, find acceleration. Sorry, the acceleration, which is the force times mass. Sorry, force equals mass times acceleration. <laughs> and uh, 
So and by using that, I was able to uh, basically pull out realistic gravity effects, and that's what I'm supplying right now. So the gravity effects is actually my own custom design. Not the equation, but the implementation within the uh, game itself. It's not any particular asset. Again, you can see how that sun is more visible, although it should be more white. I need to make it more white, but anyways, it's kind of orange. You can, and it does animate. If you look at it, you can see how it animates. Yeah, anyway. And you can see this one, again, is against the horizon. I got two suns, right? So this is kind of in the horizon, yeah. So, oh, that's tall. So we can get to the top of this one. You guys can go to martianworlds.com and download this, by the way. Oh, what happened? It just jumped off the, off the uh, oh man, come on, don't do that to me now. Here we go. So you can go to martianworlds.com and download this. It's a uh, free download. Obviously, it's not much to it, but you can run around the planet. That's cool. Look at that. See if I can get to the top of this. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. It's barely. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> you can do it. Come on. I think the planet's rotating away from me. Which direction is it going? You can see how you go away from the planet as, and the gravity slows down exponentially. Much, much more realistic. If you go up high, if you, if you actually went up a mountain that was way out in space and jumped off it you'd probably just keep flying and flying and flying and flying uh, at a much further distance this mountain is I think the top this might have been the tallest one yeah I was trying to find which mountain was the tallest one I think it was that one yeah and let me just find the the body of water I think there's a huge body of water that covers most of the planet somewhere yeah, let's just go somewhere. Come on, let's do it. Let me just run around here. Oh, I don't know if you notice there's some motion blur effects going on here. Like if there's really sudden movements. Um, and there's also, um, I've got post-processing effects on this now as well. Oh yeah, I think it's over here. Yeah, here we go. It's like a whole ocean section of the planet. It's just ocean water. Look at that. Is that huge? Oh, just water, 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 water. That's really cool, actually. Wet lens effect. Oh, there's the singularity. From another angle. <laughs> it's in the same place it always was. It's just I'm in a different place of the Earth. Uh, not really Earth, it's a planet, I guess, yeah. Is it cool? You can even see through the, the transparency. You see, set up quite nicely, actually. You can still see the sun through the water. Everything else. Come on. Try to get through this. Oh, this is lots of water here. Here we go. See, look at that. It's just all. It's like a huge chunk of the planet. It's just all water. And a huge chunk of the planet is just uh, yeah, all grass and sand dunes. Or sandy areas, anyways. Yeah, so that's it. Pretty much. So thanks, everyone. Um, subscribe. Stay tuned for, for more and updates as, uh, you know, as I post uh, more progress. Uh, reports on uh, how things are going um, I think the next one I want to have stars up here and I want to get all that in place I want to have the the grass and the uh, the foliage and everything on here as well and uh, maybe work on uh, a lot more of the details as well and kind of slowly bring this alive and uh, yeah so yeah go ahead and uh, play with it have some fun and um, and uh, yeah hopefully see if I can put some uh, fish in here as well <laughs> that would be really cool it's kind of a very shallow water area. I just found this now. Interesting. Cool. Look at that. Anyway. Alright, thanks everyone.